very good 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 morning everyone so by morning I mean night it's completely dark it's pitch dark uh, earlier than 5 in the morning we we left so early because uh, we will go to brush off and we will see now we will there are there are dogs so like the street is empty everything is empty here in this village uh, so we are going to to brush off. We will go quite high in the mountains, like around 2,000 meters altitude, and uh, yeah, quite excited about it. Now I'm going to wait the the bus here, bus station. I'm going to update you about the trip, tell you more when there will not be those dogs barking. And this is how the bus from my home village looks like. And I found two dog pins. So I wanted to tell you the itinerary of two trips a day. We are leaving from Buzou, then we are going to Brasov. It's like 150 kilometers. Then from there we go to a ski resort. It's called Poyana Brashov. And there we will take a, a tele tele something. So we can we can go to uh, up in the mountain. We don't have to take a, a, a path because I think it's full of snow. Uh, and after that, uh, we'll, 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 uh, we'll arrive there, we will spend on top of the mountain more or less 40 minutes and after uh, maybe we'll take another tele, tele route to, um, to climb in another mountain then uh, we will visit a fortress, it's called Rooker Fortress and then we will see maybe my cousin will help me to actually help us to, to visit also other places that are accessible only by car otherwise by public transport will take forever those places are really common in Romania to buy the breakfast let's see what they have so they have those bagels like this is like 30 cents per per bagel. This I don't even know what it is. This is like uh, some like bread baked with with apples. All right. Well, I think this looks nice. I'm not sure exactly what it is uh, I'm going to ask and uh, also we can we can check this one so I think one of these and one of these for the morning I can't really see would be good okay let's see Nadia Nata that's it me about from a sooner than a chest on chest a chest a chest I see one I didn't know to chase Unul cu, uh, unul cu cârnat Unul cu cârnat, unul cu cremă și o brânză dulce, vă rog frumos Hai uh, uh. Alright, those are Romanian money They are Alright, so I got them And also another important thing We should buy a coffee And also those like coffee machines are also popular also there is another one there are pretty much everywhere and this is like Tule which is 50 cents this is like uh, one one lay 50 which is 30 cents personally I like the the coffee that is rinsed so I will choose let me check this one. Okay. And now I... Oh, but I don't have coins. We did not have time to buy coffee, so we buy from the next stop.
All right, let's see what it is. Quite big. It's nice. It's quite consistent. I think I'll be full with what I what I bought. So in total, the price for those was was nine lei, which is pretty much two euros. Quite nice. I have to tell you, so like this, like it's with a sausage. So this is a sausage. <laughs> but uh, comparing the ones that are in the Netherlands, you know, like the sausages, like also in Netherlands there is bread with sausages but doesn't really look like that, that the other ones are just peeled this, this is like a proper one and it's quite tasty they, they I'm sure that they fried it in oil before I gave 8 out of 10 for the first one oh, okay let's see the next one it's quite shorter okay it starts to look inappropriate okay So this one has inside the, um, the sausage that you put in a hot, hot dog, the other one was a proper sausage, nice. After a long conversation with my family, morning conversation, I became hungry again. And in Romania we say that the food is always good when it's warm, so the last thing on our list. Also, this this has sweet cheese and it's baked. I I'm not exactly sure how you make it. Most likely, you you bite this bread and then they put uh, they put the the cheese inside. Might. Be. All right. So another city, another uh, another train that we need to take. Uh, as a fun fact, we. Yeah, we arrived in time here, actually a bit, a bit late, but in Romania the trains usually have delays, so I had time to buy a train ticket, and uh, yeah, everything is good. Uh, the next stop is our final destination. We will be there in 40-50 uh, minutes, something like this. Alright, this is how a Romanian train looks like. The trip with the train is so nice, so nice, like now it, it, beca uh, it became sunny, outside there are 7 degrees, uh, minus 7 degrees Celsius, and yeah, everything is so cool, and uh, there is a compartment where, uh, where, I, where I stayed, really nice. This is how the public transportation in Russia looks like.
get foliot for sure. We're starting climbing and like it's just beautiful and like in few minutes it will become much more. And also I, I have only this type of food. I did not plan to go to to go to um, the mountain so I did not take mountain shoes. And then I thought okay I'll go pass it well so it will not uh, get wet. Very good. we can't see that much is because we are in a cloud and that's a fun fact the the place that I was supposed to take was uh, was on the other side somewhere there but I'm quite sure that I did not miss anything because of the cloud All right. Also, let's see on this side. Maybe we can try tomorrow morning to come again to see if we can see something. But yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. I'm going to wait like 15 minutes more maybe the sky will become clear and then I can see something but I don't think so like it's so beautiful I'm also going to go there to see how it is there see you there yeah this is how it looks like here look at this tree I'll go closer to it See there. I need to be careful. And actually, my my uh, my patent, my scary looks photo. All right. Let's see. Oh my God! It's it's amazing. Looks so nice. Okay. I've never been so uh, so much up here like on a thing where you can go with a snowboard and I, I've never been here because I don't know how to snowboard or ski but definitely next year I'm going to do it
after a short horse ride we are finally in the citadel its name is Rooker it was built between 14th and 15th century and uh, and the main uh, uh, goal of this uh, this uh, formation was to um, protect the king of that region the the citadel's name is Rooker it's at 30 kilometers from Brasov and you should definitely come to check it out I'm really tired <laughs> uh, for for this authentic uh, authentic structure it was barely something changed now they they want to renovate it so maybe if you come in two years then you will not uh, you will not have the chance to, uh, to see it and also the view is just amazing and today is quite warm so the so the snow starts melting but during winter time is just wonderful there you can see really high mountains one of the highest mountains in Romania uh, also there as well just just beautiful look here and I also have a funny story about the horse ride so when I entered the in this area the the guy that owns the horse asked me if I want a ride then I asked how much it is I expect like two euros uh, but he said six and I was like no 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 uh, and then like he immediately reduced the price to four even though I would have like accept four I, I did not have cash so in the end I, I was like no, no thank you I'm going to walk after a while he came up here to meet one of his friends and then he's like come on come on I, I want to give you a ride and then I was like yeah but I have only one euro and a half look and I showed him the wallet and then he was like oh that's fine come 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 you are the first client I want uh, I want to have a good ticket and I'm like okay sure after a really 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 long ride we are finally here what do you think about this place? I'm going to show you how the restaurant looks from outside because more importantly how it works from inside I think this is the restaurant with the best view ever and also this side looks so nice and we are going to eat this is the soup that i ordered it's a vegetarian soup but... all right time to taste it's it's really sweet but if you put uh, if you put this inside and also the the peppers those peppers i think it would be amazing it was amazing, amazing. You should definitely come here. Just look at this. <laughs> Comparing to Romania, like this restaurant has the prices double or three times higher, but it's it's really really nice because like first of all the food is good, second of all the view is impressive, third of all you don't find something like this everywhere. So at least once in lifetime, 100%. percent now running on the downhill. In Romania we have a call. It's so cold that it breaks the rocks. This is how I climbed and also 
This is how I'm going to downhill. First gear, less than 10 kilometers per hour. Ah, and an important thing, uh, high beam in order, if there is size, then you see it shiny. So then you have to be extra careful. But what I go, what what I have to do, I just need to find the places with the most grip, like pieces of sand, you know, like this, for instance. And yeah, and I just wait the car to go down. This is what I do. Very very good morning. It's the last uh, last day in Brasov where I'm living right now. I did not have the chance to record anything until now because I was just running, running, running to catch it. I arrived four minutes earlier than the departure time. But this this train is just amazing. I think it's the best the best train in uh, one of the best trains in Romania. Let me show you inside. No. Alright, this here is not here is the toilet I'm like so spacious toilet. Oh. Elaborate. Yeah look looks nice. And and there is the there are the seats, the wagon. Yeah it's and here is our place. I hope that you like my trip in Romania. I did not continue to record after I uh, I went to the the last train to back to my hometown because then I was I was busy with uh, with packing for the flight that was coming next day uh, early morning. I hope that you like the trip. I hope that uh, you can support my videos on YouTube by by subscribing or commenting below if you have um, some questions regarding my trip about the places that I visited don't hesitate to you know, ask and I will uh, respond to you and the next destination is Canaria Island which will be in a few days so stay tuned